as long as I draw a breath on this earth, as long as I have a pulse, it does happen. It don't matter what you're wearing, it don't matter where you are, it don't matter what time of day it is. You could be looking homeless, like the most drag up thing ever, and somebody in some, town will literally. Somebody will watch your heart, somebody will follow you, somebody will sit here like it. Yeah, like yeah. you just you can't leave your house in certain things if you want to be left alone. Why is it that we always have to say, oh, I have a boyfriend who's left to get away? Like, you know, like my agency is not enough. Like, I'm not my own person. Yeah, for sure not. Like, once they hear you belong to somebody else, that's gonna leave you alone. Okay. You will tell a man no, and as a woman, that no, if it's not followed by an explanation, if it's not followed by like a four side PowerPoint with an intro, a body, and a conclusion with a thesis statement and an appendix, as to why you saying no, and you will not be left alone. Like, you will not be left alone at all. When a man said no, it's no. And people leave mother. It's not normal that if I have to leave my house, my mother needs to know where I am at every point in time. It's not normal that I can't leave my house in certain things. That's not normal. I'm not supposed to be able to leave my house and save my life. That's not supposed to happen. Before I even like, got into puberty, I remember being six, seven years old and not being allowed to wear like short pants and stuff like that. And it's unhealthy because if, if the first thing you teach a girl about her sexuality, about her body, is that it's bad it or that it's it dangerous yeah. or something bad will happen to her if people notice it. That's not, that not healthy. I don't know. When man leave the house, they must know, all right, make sure somebody know where you're going. Miss, my fly is above, that's big as you're thing, good. you know? I when you're a man, don't go nowhere by yourself. Make sure Travel, you can't go to the bathroom alone. You must go in packs, obviously. Don't. You know? If you're going out, make sure you call when you reach, when you know you're well, coming back. Then come and meet people. So got to do that. When you're going out, you must know I can't wear short pants. I can't, I can't wear leggings. I can't wear top tops. I have to go to my bra. I have to do this. I have to do that. I have to make sure I'm not drawing too much attention. It's so many things you have to do when you leave your house. And even when you do all of those things, things just still happen to you. And when things happen to people, just still ask, well, why should you do this? Or why should you do that? This girl, Shannon, they found the other day. Home girl, it was broad daylight, so my girl was in her wood clothes. She told her mother where she was going and she said, I'm dead. Who fault is that? Who fault it is when you do everything you're supposed to do and you still end up dead? Or you still end up free? Or you still, somebody still actually assaults you? When you're a woman, it does this. People make you feel like you owe the world something, like you owe the world your prettiness. You being attractive or you being desirable is your rent for being here on this roof. And if you're not, then you have no value. And if you have no value, then who will respect you? And if nobody respects you, who is going to take you on when something bad happens to you? It's this idea that any time a man advances on you, that's supposed to be a compliment. That we are here to be validated by the by men pursuing us. Like that's supposed to make mean something. And if you don't want it, especially if you are viewed as someone who shouldn't be getting that at all, then you must be grateful. You must be grateful again. It needs to not be socially acceptable to do and say certain things. Men need to hold themselves accountable. Yeah. And they need to hold their friends accountable and to hold their other male relatives accountable. Understand that these are real experiences that women are going through and like these are things that actually happen to us. And this is real life. It's not a game. We're not just making this up because we're bored or because we don't like all you. This is our life. And until you understand that that is what this is and that this affects you too because right now the way society is, is saying women need to be careful because men are intrinsically monsters and they will hurt you. And if I was a man, that would really that would be that would be okay to me. It would be okay to me to know that there are people out there who believe that I am innately predisposed to hurting women. That's not okay. And that shouldn't be okay. And anytime you hear your partner say something off, or you hear, or you next time your partner sees a girl in the street, tell him that I'm okay. Yeah, we do not for watch him, watch him, watch him sideways. There needs to be an entire reform of sexual education in the school system. I went to a convent. The only sexual education they say don't have sex, that bad, and then a lady from carefree part come and show us some pictures of some genitals. Don't you please don't. That was it. That was it. That was all. Especially how you know with the Catholic faith that they don't believe in contraception. So people will be vaccinated, but there needs to be objective, secular. I don't know if they like that word, but there needs to be secular sex education for young children. And like I say, well, they don't need to know about that, so they don't need to know about that. But it have girls on here getting raped. How does this feel in a country where if a girl gets raped, she can't get abortion? That's not okay. 
I'm so say well, they murder, you know, they say that life, yeah, yeah, you can't question God and the life that he brings, but at the end, they will see life of the girl, but the life of the girl who got raped, so got sexually assaulted, or just can't afford to have a child, or will be outcast by her family or her parents if she was to have this child. You would rather put somebody through the emotional and mental and possibly economical trauma of having a child they don't want to have, than just let them have a safe abortion and let them live their life. Damn now, okay, too. Thank you.